during the meanwhile. No, no, no. no. Well, hello. It's uh, a red bearded uh, for Wales in the World Cup. Uh, Dexter and me, and yes, I realise that by the time you watch this, you c could well be eliminated, but hey, hey ho. Uh, <laughs> uh, drawing our first game against America has probably cost us. Anyway, uh, this week's Tech Tuesday is really for hardcore uh, nerds and uh, gear freaks only. So uh, just me and a few other people watching them probably. Now one of the main reasons to make me doubt buying the Fujifilm X-T5 uh, was when Fujifilm actually brought out a list of lenses that were optimised uh, for the camera and my favourite uh, landscape lens, the 10-24, uh, the, the second generation, 10-24 no, to f4 uh, wasn't on the list. But I did buy the camera and uh, I've done some tests uh, to see whether uh, Fujifilm's list should be amended or not or even uh, you know ignored uh, completely or uh, treated as gospel. Well I, I, I can't prove or do that but what I can do is test my 10-24 uh, lens and uh, on the X-T4 and on the X-T5 and uh, find out whether there's any uh, noticeable difference uh, in resolution between the two cameras or not and also um, test it between um, itself <laughs> obviously uh, on the X-T5 and uh, Fujifilm's excellent 27mm f2.8 WR lens uh, again second generation uh, which I'm actually using to uh, film myself for the first time ever today uh, incidentally um, that is on Fujifilm's uh, list of optimized lenses so I figured I could um, run some tests and use that as like you know as a baseline anyway um, looking at this image I shot uh, from the rocks above Limeslade Bay uh, the camera certainly does seem to display uh, quite a high level of detail really this was shot at uh, 10 millimeters and I must have been 30 meters or so from uh, the pebbles we're looking at here and uh, there's you know there's plenty of detail in there right I'm not focused on them so they're going to be a little bit uh, soft maybe but you can see there's plenty plenty of detail there but looking at uh, one image in isolation doesn't really prove anything uh, so to conduct a more scientific <laughs> test uh, I shot a control study at home um, using my lovely Fujika 6 uh, as a model or a subject and shooting with identical settings uh, as follows. I shot the 10 to 24 uh, on my X-T4 and X-T5 to compare and I shot the 10 to 24 and the 27 then on my X-T5. Now let's have a look. Uh, you're not going to notice really any um, any difference while studying a compressed JPEG on an even more compressed YouTube video so you, you're going to need to trust me on this but it's obvious to me looking at the T4 and T5 pictures side by side that there is more uh, there is more detail in the T5 images and I'd be surprised if they weren't to be honest but the acid test uh, and the real difference comes when looking at uh, the images shot on my X-T5 uh, with the 10 to 24 here on the left and the 27 on the right there is definitely definitely more detail in the image shot with the 27 so I think this would support Fuji in their claim that that lens is more optimized uh, for the T5 the real surprise is in like the final look of the images though both were shot um, both the 10 to 24 and 27 were shot on my X-T5 I didn't touch the settings in between so they were both shot at f8 um, identical shutter speed identical um, uh, ISO settings identical white balance everything everything was the same uh, but the image from the 27 looks brighter in my opinion it looks like about a third of a stop uh, brighter and well nicer in my opinion <laughs> so um, what to do well, nothing really. I mean, it's not as if the 10 to 24 images are in any way bad or so inferior, you know, that the lens is um, rendered useless. I mean, there's clearly more resolution in them when you look at the images. But there's clearly also a difference between the optimized 27 millimeter lens and the non optimized 10 to 24. Um, now, 
this could be a one-off with either of my examples um, of uh, of the lens. But Fujifilm's uh, quality control is pretty well, you know, spot on. So uh, I don't, you know, I've got like a a rogue copy uh, of either lens. Um, but you know, um, the res the results really do speak for themselves. The image with the twenty seven is brighter. Before I finish, I've also shot um, uh, my Nikkor one hundred and five or micro Nikkor one hundred and five um, adapted to the XT five, and there is definitely more resolution visible, even with that old uh, but quite superb, uh, magnificent uh, Nikkor lens. Anyway, I'm going to continue to happily shoot on my 10 to 24 and my 16 uh, as another non-optimized lens uh, and my 105 of course uh, but live in the hope that maybe Fuji will either bring out a, a third version of the 10 to 24 uh, more optimized for the uh, extra resolution or preferably it's something like a 12 millimeter f2.8 prime something in that sort of range you know uh, i would really like to see fuji film bring out something like that uh, and that i would buy in an absolute an absolute heartbeat anyway that is it uh, for this tech tuesday video uh, tune in on thursday when my uh, during the meanwhile uh, advent calendar begins that's right there will be a, a video every day right up to and including uh, Christmas Eve uh, when you are going to be in uh, trust me for something of a treat <laughs> he said I know uh, promises promises all right then uh, stay safe stay well look after yourselves your loved ones your little pets and, and be nice to them and then uh, we'll see you on Thursday for the best well if there's something that I like it's the way that woman walk And if there's something I love better It's the way she baby dog She put it back She put it back She work a hard every night I just to make me feel alright She told me not to worry There ain't a thing of trouble inside I did you all to see a jump I'll just see you walk the floor When you get back to a seat, yeah More the people grab the mood She put it back She did it right She sure do, baby She work a hard every night I just can make her feel all right She tell me not to worry If you're anything you're trouble inside Come on, whoopie, baby Gonna take it up there, huh? Give it up